All right, here we have Jason going from Detroit and through Ann Arbor, takes some 40, uh, well, 40 miles to get from Detroit to Ann Arbor. And it takes them, as you can see, from two o'clock to 2.50, so 50 minutes. So before we answer the questions in this problem, let's go ahead and find the speed that Jason's traveling. We're told it's a constant speed. And speed is going to be distance travel uh, divided by um, the uh, time it took to travel. So distance over time. So the distance traveled by Jason is 40 miles. And the time is 50 minutes. So if we divide top and bottom by 10, that gives us four fifths um, miles per minute. Um, so that is going to be the speed. If we want to convert Jason's speed to um, miles per hour, we can do that real quick. Um, so the speed um, right now is in miles per minute. So we'll need a conversion factor. And that's basically the fact that uh, there are 60 minutes in every one hour. So that's our conversion factor. Notice the minutes cancel. And if we multiply uh, four fifths times 60, well, 60 divided by five is 12. So I end up with 12 times four or 48. So four fifths of 60 is 48. And that's in miles per hour. Okay, so that's the speed of Jason's car. All right, let's go ahead now and take a look at finding our position as a function of time. We know position is rate times time and our rate is four fifths um, if we do it miles per minute times time. So, so long as T is in minutes, we can use this equation. So if T is um, basically in minutes. If we want to go ahead and use the speed of 48 miles per hour, um, then we will we can write our position with time as 48t, because that the rate is 48, and then times t, because distance is rate times time. But that only can be used if t is in hours. So which one you use depends on which version of time you want to use. Uh, okay, so next step is to graph x to t. I'm going to do this on the right. Let me um, go ahead and get some grid marks here. And we're going to go ahead and graph position um, versus time. Uh, so we're going to do x of t. I'm going to go ahead and use the one with minutes, where t is in minutes and uh, x of t is in uh, miles. Uh, okay, well, we know we start in Detroit, which is our zero, zero mile marker. We know 50 minutes later, so I'll put a mark here for 50 minutes, we've arrived um, going through Ann Arbor, which is the 40 mile mark. Let me go ahead and get uh, a draw a line to connect these. Um, to indicate um, that our graph of Jason's car with time. Um, so there we have it. And the meaning then is, uh, well, let's take a look at the slope. Let's find it. And then let's talk about the meaning. Okay. So the slope uh, is equal to rise over run. Remember, slope is rise over run. Uh, so the rise is 40. Uh, miles and the units here. So we've got to use our units. And our run is 50 minutes. So this reduces down to uh, four fifths like before. And so our slope is four fifths miles per minute. And the meaning of that is as we've already seen that's so a speed. That's the speed of Jason's car. So very nice, good problem. Hopefully it helped. Have an amazing day.